Here we go. Let's go. It is the final here at the Orleans stop, the sixth stop of the 2024 3x3 Women's Series. And it is a French on French final. Who is going to take home the crown? We are going to get going here in just seconds. France undefeated. Clermont Ferrand, the home team, is also undefeated. The crowd, I don't even know who they're rooting for. But let's get it going. France's offense and defense has been humming and coming along. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Droge over to Milipi, back to Droge. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Milipi gets it inside. Jekundade is tough to finish over, but she does it. Demont Ferron, the first to fire. As Guapo comes up short on that two point attempt. Manet comes in for a sub. Wimbenyama off the screen. Droge kicks it back to Wimbenyama, still in the key, but has to float it up as the shot clock was winding down. Paget comes down with the rebound. Manet ripped through. Great defense on both sides. Oh, but not good enough as Better O wins that battle. Jekundade with a long one-pointer to put France on the board first. Brochon to Milipi. When Benyama coming off the curl, but Milipi keeps it, takes it, drains it. Manet up top, surveying, got Brochon to bite. What a feed inside. But I think she ran out of time. Great pass, though. 2-1 lead, Clermont Ferrand. High post action, Wimbenyama runs into Droge. Five seconds on the shot clock, picks up her dribble. Brochon, crossover. Trying to get rid of Jekundade, it's tough to do, but she comes down with the old board. Droge for two, yes! With a little fist pump to go with it. 4-1 lead. Claremont Ferrand has just been rolling here and they keep it going against the national team. Jekundade finds the ball and able to dump it in. Two-point game. A French on French final in France. How lucky are we? These two teams match up extremely well as Paget dumps it into Mane, gets bumped from Brochon. Paget shoots the two instead, rims out. The defense was just making it a tough entry pass to Manet. Brochon has the height advantage over Paget and the ref calls a late whistle on a foul. First team foul. It was shooting, so that is a free throw. Rochamp been solid over this two day stop. on the high post, chucks it over her shoulder, but broken up by Paget. Guapo goes for the reverse lay. Droge knew the scouting report. Hmm. 
Oh, missed them both. Ajay checks it. This is a championship game. Championship action. Championship Jake Ugade. Wimbenyama on the wing. Clément Fayon still with the lead. Trying to answer. Fade away. Jay is good for Droge. Ajay on the right wing. Gets a screen from Jake Ugade. Tries to dump it inside, it's at her feet. Back out to Page for two to beat the buzzer. Now only a one point lead for Clermont Ferrand. They try to go over to Millipede, she's falling down. Good defense by Page, she's wide open. Banks it in, Millipede not able to get back in play. They like the mismatch inside, but France is able to switch back. Wimbenyama step back to that's off the backboard. Jekundade dribbles it out. Out to Page, and they say an offensive foul. You can't do that. Gotta be set. That's gonna take us to our first break, and we're tied at sixes. Clermont Ferrand came out the gate buzzing, but France able to strike back. Two fouls apiece. And we are all tied up. This is going to be good. Something to keep an eye on is Droge and her rebounding. She had the most highlights from day one with 13, but had the most rebounds as a guard, 15. Against Israel yesterday, she had 10 boards. So let's see if she can crash the boards today. They're going to need everything they can get to get past this friends team. Paget. Trying to find a seam. Three seconds in Page again as the shot clock was winding down. Just big time buckets for a big time player. Rochon gets stuck. Wimbenyama has to put it up again. Two pointer <laughs> and gets it to go. Wimbenyama. I'm sure she taught her brother Victor everything he knows. Big shots like that, gets the foul, and now a free throw for a three-point, a potential three-point play. Lead is back for Claremont Ferrand. Manet tried to do a wraparound pass to Guapo. Wimbenyama trying to do a reverse on Guapo and gets stuffed. She tried to pull Guapo's move on Guapo. And Leticia was not having it. Droge, only two seconds remaining. Mila P, turn around, gets it to drop. 10-8 lead for Claremont Ferrand. This is great basketball here. Another wraparound pass stolen by Droge. Millipede inside. Guapo with the two-handed block. But Millipede gets it back and gets it to fall. Effort plays are through the roof. Guapo thought about the two, decides to take Millipede to the cup, and does. Here comes France. Clermont Ferrand into Millipi. Loose pass gets broken up and two seconds on the shot clock for Clermont Ferrand. They're going to need a Hail Mary to keep this lead going. Droge for two. Oh! That is the Hail Mary that they needed. 
bank is open on a Friday. Jay Kundade not able to get that one to block. Guapo comes down with the rebound. Laxadezuko on the pass out to Jekundare gets broken up. 13 9 lead. There's still four minutes to go. Claremont Ferrand just having their self a day. Paget stops on a dime, and the float game is good. Rochon all the way to the left, finishes with the right. 14 10. Guapo with the spin. No good. Wimbenyama over to Brochon. Back to Wimbenyama. Has Guapo on her. Two seconds remaining. Has to put it up. Guapo blocked it. And Paget holds off Brochon. And that's going to take us to our second and final TV timeout. 14-10. This is for the championship. Orléans stop in France. Two French teams going at it. The fans are loving it. This is high-level basketball. I love it. Here we go. Mane, great defense by Brochon. Nothing easy. Droge comes up with it on an island when Binyama comes and sets the screen. <laughs> Good defense by Paget. Another shot clock winding down front of the rim. France throws it away. Solid defense for two possessions. And then they give it right back. Millipi handoff to Brochon. Tries to go left. Jekundade is there. Millipi inside, shuffling. Guapo holding her ground. Behind the back, she's in the corner. Back out to Jekundade. Resets with Paget. Five seconds on the shot clock. Paget has to put up the two. Fade away, gets it to go. My goodness. It's a two point game. Millipi, just a strong turnaround. Jekundade still on the ground. Maybe some wet spots. Jekundade wanted an explanation on how that wasn't a foul against Millipi. Both of these players train with each other. They know each other well. Jacob Dade, big time bucket. Free throw line extended, Jay. Two point game still, two minutes left. Droge thought about the two. Tries to dump it inside, didn't have enough time. France with the ball. Wapo up top, over to Manet. She gets the screen from Paget. They try to go back door. Paget dribbles it back out. Manet driving, finds an opening. Paget open for two, yes! She's on fire today. 
The two-point line is up in flames for France. Mismatch inside. Paget tried her best, disrupted the shot. Millipede unable to finish, and we are tied at 15. Paget tried to get Guapo falling down and does. Pretty play there by France to take their first lead of the ball game. Rochon finishing, Paget falling. We're tied at 16s now. I might be standing up by the end of this game. This is going to go down to the wire. Paget has been making incredible, crazy shots from the opening tip. And she has the ball again. She gets it to... Jikundade, she gets it back, tries to do a wraparound pass. It's poked around. Time expiring. Woo! The way France has been shooting, I would not have been surprised if that somehow dropped in for Jikundade. Movement here, Wimbanyama going inside to Brochon. Tough matchup there against Jekundare. Wimbanyama finding a seam. Has to go over the backboard. And the shot clock violation. Turnover. The defense for France kicking it into another gear. It's less than a minute. I didn't even see that. I was so focused on the great action. We're down to 55 seconds and a foul. This game has been flying by. Lack of foul calls. Just been straight hooping. That was a foul, so there's a fresh shot clock and a nice solid give and go. Go with what works and Claremont Ferrell turns it over. Costly. France taking the one point lead over Claremont Ferrand. Manet on the wing. Jekundare wants it back along one pointer, gets it to go back to back buckets from Jekundare to put France up by two. We're going to call timeout on the floor. Two point game, 36.5. No one's in the bonus, so unless they are, it's a driving foul, should be able to play it straight up. No free throws. Both teams trying to scheme. But again, 3x3, there are no coaches on the floor. Completely up to the players to call timeouts, to subs, to draw up plays. And here we go. The crowd is into it. Droge driving left-handed, gets it to roll in. One-point game. France in control. Take their time, get a good shot. Manet dribbles out, has to put it up. Shot clock winding down. They're going to say that's not going to count. Not a great possession there by France. Shot clock goes so fast, you can't really dribble it out. You got to try to score quick. And that is what Claremont Ferrand is going to try to do. Droge. Brings it back out, Wimbenyama going against Guapo, puts it in and we're tied at 18 apiece. Five seconds left. Jekundade crosses over Wimbenyama, tries to go back door for Guapo. And it goes out of bounds. So it's .9. Are they saying that the ball was tipped? No, the ball was not tipped. 
So it is going to be Claremont Ferron with the last chance or we go in overtime. One handed, oh. My heart was ready for it. <laughs> I just think you would have just heard me screaming. What a perfect end to this two day extravaganza of high level basketball and overtime finale. Magnifique. France versus France. Clermont Ferrand against the national team of France. 18 18. First to two points, wins the game, wins the stop, and is champions of Orleans. The crowd a little conflicted, <laughs> cheering for both teams as they have been the whole time. Droge to the rack. And now Clermont Ferrand takes the lead. Paget crossover. Two pointers up for the win. Paget, are you kidding me? Crossover right to left. Two pointer is good. The national team of France 20. Clermont Ferrand, an incredible, incredible game and two day stretch. 19. France are your winners. What a game. What a two day stretch for both of these teams coming into the final undefeated. France, this was their closest game of the whole tournament. We're keeping teams 12 and under to give up 19 points. Thank you.